Hi, I'm Corey Arden. And I'm Joe Connors. Uh, we're both seniors studying mechanical engineering at Western New England University, and this is our senior design project. So, for our senior design project, we're studying the effects of compression on water percolation in a gas diffusion layer of a PEM fuel cell. So first we'll go over the whole experimental setup, but I'm going to start with the test section first. So in the center of the test section is our gas diffusion layer. It's made out of a carbon paper material. The out, right around the test, the center of the test section is our GDL shim. It's a stainless steel shim. We use four different shim sizes, ranging from one thousandth of an inch to six thousandths of an inch. <clears throat> and on the covering the whole test section, we use two polycarbonate cover plates, and that ensured an even compression on the whole side of the GDL. GDL. We used four quarter inch bolts on each corner of the test section and we torqued each of those bolts down using this torque wrench to 30 inch pounds. This ensured an even and symmetrical compression across the entire GDL. <clears throat> and so this syringe pump down here uh, pumps water directly into the underside of the test section at our desired flow rate. Uh, there is a small capillary tube inserted into the bottom side of the polycarbonate plate that injects water directly into the bottom of the GDL. The camera above here uh, records images throughout the duration of our experiment so that we can monitor the percolation area and compare it with the pressure buildup throughout the test. So the images obtained from the camera were analyzed by in-house code that obtained the wetted area and perimeter. This pressure transducer uh, read, read the pressure buildup in the test section. And this allowed us to understand the effect of GDL compression on water percolation in plane with the GDL.